Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how I make my delicious garlic bread. Okay, so I'm cheating a little bit and I'm using a store-bought bread. And this was very cheap. It was on sale, I think, for 2 for $4. So I'm using this. I don't want to spend the time and make bread, but this just tastes just as good as homemade when you're finished. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to roast up my garlic. And I have a dry pan here, and I have this over medium heat. And I'm using about 8 cloves of garlic. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you. I'm roasting this for about 8 minutes or so or until the paper starts to change color and the garlic feels like it's getting soft. You just want to keep turning them because you want them to get evenly roasted on each side. If you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. And if you like what you see so far, I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps to get my videos out there. Now I'm just going to transfer them to a plate to cool down a bit before I handle them. Now that they're cool, I'm just going to peel them. And as you can see, some of them have that little dark spot from roasting it. And oh my goodness, I just love that. I feel like that just adds a lot of flavor to it. And I like to peel it after I roast it because it's just so much easier to peel afterwards. I'm just going to use my fork and mash the garlic in the bowl and you're probably thinking why don't you use a plate or something to mash it on but I'm using the same bowl to add some other ingredients to it so I figured why dirty up one more thing you know so I'm just doing it in the same bowl I'm using later. To me, roasting it makes a big difference and when you roast the garlic, it gets really soft so it's easier to mash and it just has so much flavor. I don't know if you know this but when you roast the garlic, it gets sweeter and it doesn't have that bitter taste. I'm going to add one sprig of parsley to that and I just chop it really fine. To that I'm going to add a quarter cup of grated parmesan cheese. I'm going to stir everything together and mix that really well and then I'm going to add some butter to it. The last thing I'm going to add is 6 tablespoons of softened butter and I just had this sitting on the counter to get soft. Mix that thoroughly until everything is well combined. If you haven't been following me on Instagram yet, you can do so at Cooking with Shirani. I'm always sharing stuff in my stories over there, so come follow me. I 
I went ahead and cut the bread in half and now I'm just going to take the mixture and spread it evenly over the bread. Bake this in a preheated 400 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 15 minutes or so and just be sure to turn it halfway through. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. Now that it cooled down a bit, I'm just going to take my knife and cut it into slices. And this is up to you and how you like your bread. Cut it to however you like it. That day I made some delicious homemade spaghetti to go with it and it's my recipe so if you're interested in a spaghetti recipe I'm going to leave my link below for you. I just wanted to taste peace so you can see and oh my gosh who doesn't love garlic bread this was so so good mm. i wish i could go back and get a piece <laughs> well as always i hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a thumbs up remember every thumbs up helps to get my videos out there and as always thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to do that and I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.